and see that this is uh it's pretty cool this is uh a tennessee walking horse uh jose's magnificent merlin we call him merlin um, watch it watch it see how he humps up there look at his tail see his tail it's got a j in it <laughs> and uh i'm gonna i'm gonna steal pat bucket's line which is a riot if you if you don't know who pat bucket is you need to look him up on YouTube. He's a he's a horse trainer, but he says if your horse has a J in its tail, you're going to die. <laughs> yeah, I think he says it means if you're riding it like that, you know, it's a worried sort of thing and a bothered thing. I don't know if you saw that, you saw his J in his tail. So we always we always we quote Pat Bucket all the time. No. I like that saying his if it has a chain its tail you're going to die <laughs> uh, yeah you, you, you don't want to be worried but um, he's kind of yeah, um if you look over here you can see over there i got a pie here in the bathroom i got a big bulldozer going and they took down a big dead tree and flattened out the hole was and that has him bothered. That has him bothered. So he's like, uh, you know, he sh yeah, shook his head there. See that? See that? That is and Eric's trying to get his attention. And so these kind of situations are actually pretty cool, like to uh, to work through. Um, cause you can easily have a moment like this on, on your horse, you know, something happens. I don't know, like all of a sudden a loud truck goes by or something and they really get bothered and really get worried or something. And if you haven't worked them through this to where they trust you, see, look at him, see how he's flinging his head there. See that right there? Uh, he's protesting and protesting and displaying it's kind of a power thing too um, but uh, it's pretty interesting so like in a situation like this what's really cool is you can you work them through it you know and just like if you if think about it yourself like if you were oh I don't know you're out with a group of people right and you have some sort of some sort of Oh, I don't know, scary thing happened or, you know, something and uh, like some sort of, maybe it's an accident, maybe some sort of calamity or something. And you're with, with a few other people and you guys work it through and pull it together and make it out, out of it in a good, good way. Well, you, chances are you've probably developed a pretty good relationship through the process of doing it. And so that's what I think, how I think about like with the horses. You know, uh, you either create it yourself, you create the the stressor thing, like in like in a, in a safe environment. Like this round pen's pretty darn safe. Okay, so like you might you might put a tarp in there, and they'll be really spooked about it, scared. So that's you creating creating a stressor and helping the horse work through it, and, and the horse gets to see how you're relaxed around it how they can trust you and all that kind of stuff. Or you can get a situation like this, like where we got the, like I said, we got that bulldozer going over there. And that noise and everything has, has got him boogered up a little bit. He's a little worried about it. And so instead of waiting for a quiet time to work him and have a lesson, just have a lesson while that's going on. And you'll see around here a lot of our videos, uh, if you, you know subscribe to them and stuff or if they come in your feed and watch them you'll see like we have lots of stuff going on here every day the guys are blowing with leaf blowers blowing out the aisleways a couple times a day two three times a day they're rolling around with carts you know we got side by side we got tractors going we got skid steers going you know we got forklifts you know all this kind of stuff and so they get used to they get used to a lot of a lot of things interestingly enough though is that horses are are 
they're, you know, they're a prey animal. You've probably heard that a lot. Well, they're a prey animal, so they got to be, they're always looking for something out of the ordinary, predator, you know what I mean, or something. So, like, if they're, like, in, looking in, at grass, and all of a sudden, something is not quite right about that grass or that, that lump of that bush or that lump of trees or something. Something, like, if all of a sudden it's different, they're going to get real cautious, and it's natural. It's a, it's a, um, it's a, uh, preservation sort of thing and because they, they have to notice if things are different and so that said I mean we, like I said we have carts we have these uh, wood carts that we we go all over the place with and we haul hay and we have you know and they're kind of they can be kind of noisy and then we have wheelbarrows and we have forklift and side by side all this kind of stuff. they're fine with all that well I had a, a, uh, a friend come out here with his friend and uh, she has MS and uh, she was in a wheelchair. She also has like a needs a knee replacement. So she was in a wheelchair, um, and the horses hadn't seen a wheelchair, and they were snorting a little bit and concerned about the wheelchair. Now, within just a couple of minutes, they got they got used to it. each horse would get used to it, sniff her, and then they'd be fine. You know, but they were not sure about that. What is this? Should I be worried? That's just how that's just horse behavior. And uh, see how he's so. He wanted to get him to hook back on, and uh, and I think that like Merlin was just telling him, "Don't you see? I got that thing out there in the field. It's taking trees down. It's making a lot of noise. It's got a big cloud of dust. Shouldn't, shouldn't we can be concerned about it? Why are you making me run around?" You know, so he pr protested a little bit, but then he realized, like, okay, Eric's not worried about it. I guess I shouldn't be worried about it. Either. And that's what we do. You know. You want to, it's um, going to be really hard. And this is a hard thing for anybody who's, especially if you're new to horses and stuff. And I even put myself in this category. Like, um, if you get nervous, if you get nervous, it's going to come through to your horse. And that's going to make them more nervous. And it's kind of going to make that situation worse. Um, so you really want to try to calm yourself down. There's a couple of cool things you can do, or one one really cool thing is is well two things. One thing is take take a deep breath and exhale slowly. And do that four times. Try not to hyperventilate and pass out and fall off your horse. That's not what I'm going for here. But um, you know, take take a if you take like four or five deep breaths and, and release them slowly, that will slow your heart rate. And a horse will pick up on your heart rate too, and their their heart rate will match yours. They they've done studies on this where horses out in the pasture will have the same uh, heartbeat. Their their heartbeats synchronize, and when one looks up and gets startled, it causes them all to startle, and, and then they then they'll take off. The other thing that I do with the breathing, oh, and with the breathing, like when you exhale, you'll you'll sometimes hear us exhale pretty loudly, you know like this right you take a deep breath in and out right well that'll calm your horse down a lot of times that'll come we can calm a horse right down into a into a stop um, the other thing I do this really helps me a lot is I just start to focus on an exercise like if the horse is kind of jiggy and full of energy I'll focus on it um, I'll focus on, you know, like turning or doing some figure eights or serpentines or something. And when I start focusing on specific tasks in a lesson kind of thing, my focus, um, all my nervousness goes away. I don't know why it just does, and that's a good thing. So if you could do that, try that too. That might that might help you out. But look how good he is now. See. Should people subscribe? They should. <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.